Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about what's new in iOS 9.2 Beta 2. So earlier today, Apple released the second beta version of iOS 9.2 to all registered developers. And as always, we are going to be talking about what's new. The first two changes in iOS 9.2 Beta 2 deal with once again the Safari in-app web view that seems to be a major focus for Apple in iOS 9.2. So once again, if we go over to an app that has the in-app web, in web view embedded in the app, like Tweetbot for example, tap on a link, the first change you're going to notice is up here at the top. The done button has been moved from the right side of the screen over to the left. And I believe that they moved it there to hint that with iOS 9.2, the second change for the web view is that you can actually swipe from left to right in order to dismiss it for whatever reason unless the developer did some workaround. By default in all versions of iOS 9 less than iOS 9.2, you could not actually swipe to dismiss a web view. You would have to tap on that done button, which is kind of hard to reach considering it used to be in the top right corner up until today. And that's what's new with the Safari web view. Moving on to the third and final change currently discovered inside of iOS 9.2 beta 2, we have AT&T Wi-Fi calling now being supported on additional devices. So it kind of works like the phone app in like iOS 8 and 9, you can make calls and receive them on your Mac or your iPad. Well, AT&T Wi-Fi calling can now be used with things like a Mac or an iPad. So if you're an AT&T subscriber, that is great news for you. I'm still waiting on Verizon to do the whole Wi-Fi calling thing, but maybe that'll come at some point in the near future. I sure hope so. If you did enjoy this quick video on iOS 9.2 Beta 2, you are more than welcome to go ahead and click on that like button down below. Let's see if we can hit 150 likes on this video. That would be awesome. And of course, if you want more coverage on future iOS 9 updates, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. I hope you guys had a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next one.